What's up, everybody? Welcome to Political Fight Club. Very quick episode here. I want to correct something I talked about in an episode yesterday. Uh, Kristen Gonzalez, who's the DSA-backed candidate running for state senate in 59th District of New York, is not running against Joe Crowley, but Joe Crowley's cousin, female cousin. So I misspoke, uh, and I was that was pointed out to me, so I wanted to correct. It's basically Joe Crowley with a wig. You get a uh, Crowley in there, it doesn't really matter which one. They're an elitist family, and they're going to govern the same way. So it's just Joe Crowley's cousin. So wanted to correct that. And I'd like to pontificate just briefly here on you know, Miki Konst running for that same seat and potentially splitting the vote and playing spoiler with Kristen Gonzalez is evidence and proof positive to me that these boutique lefties actually don't give a damn about what they say they give a damn about. They don't care about getting more progressives in Congress. That's what they say they want. That's the, that's what they say we have to do. We have to reform the Democratic Party by getting more progressives in Congress. That's their argument. Now, if that were the case, why would no Miki Kants run against another uh, progressive Democrat? The answer is what we've always known. It's not about strategy. It's not about winning. It's not about reforming the Democratic Party. It's all about keeping the status quo the way it is and making money off of rebranding progressivism and basically people like David Dole who have endorsed Nomiki Konst over Kristen Gonzalez who is to the left of Nomiki Konst. They're just one big social circle who wants to make money off of having a group of people who pretend to be progressives and who defend the Democratic Party tooth and nail, and they can't continue to do that if there's a revolution in this country. They're perfectly happy making money the way that they're doing right now. So if they really cared about reforming the Democratic Party via getting as many progressives in Congress as possible, the principal thing to do would be to go after Nomiki Konst and call her out for this ridiculous vanity project that she's doing because she's going to get similar to what Jenk Uger got when he ran against Christy Smith. She'll get like four or five percent. It'll be pathetic, but that four or five percent could end up coming back and splitting the vote enough so that Joe Crowley in a wig can end up winning in that district. So again, this just proves something that we already kind of knew on the true left is that these people don't have a strategy. It's not about winning, it's not about getting things done, it's about maintaining the status quo while maintaining a facade that they're actually trying to get things done. And anybody who's not outwardly against Nomiki Konst running in that district is really showing their hand right now, in my opinion. So keep fighting that good fight out there, guys. I'll talk to you later.